Well, hello and uh, welcome to Seven. And uh, as we head into spring, I am your perennially youthful principal, Matthew Mills. And in this, the latest of our seven lectures inaugurating the next tax year, uh, we're looking at the taxation emanation, or just exactly is what is happening to my personal tax allowances and why should I care? Now, now for very technical reasons as well, I'm going to say that this lecture is being recorded live. Uh, I don't know if there's any other way to record it, uh, but <laughs> on April the 13th, 2023. A number of reasons for saying that. I mean, first of all, is uh, 13 is sometimes considered an unlucky number, although I can't personally say you get from 12 to 14 without it. So that would be unlucky. Um, although uh, that said, it's not my favourite prime number. That is obviously seven. But uh, if you are watching this in the future or if you're a time traveller who's come back to watch this in the future, um, the tax allowances that I'm talking about may have changed by the time you come to see this. So it's just making sure that there's that reference in place. Now, as I'm sure you're completely aware, your government levies a range of taxes to pay for things like public services. Uh, but you also have a number of personal tax allowances. These are um, uh, amounts of tax you are allowed to earn from certain sources of either income or investment gains uh, that you don't pay any tax on or you pay less tax on. Now, the four principal personal tax allowances are for against your income, against capital gains, against uh, residential property, investments and business sales of businesses, uh, dividends from shares and uh, savings uh, interest. Now, the, uh, the the chap in the picture here is our Chancellor, Jeremy Hunt. Uh, and just in case you've been in the cave, um, in his latest budget, he has announced some fairly swathing what he described as eye watering changes to our personal tax allowances. Uh, and I thought that uh, it'd be really important to discuss what these are actually going to mean for you. Now, you shouldn't really have favourites amongst personal uh, tax allowances. I mean, they're, they're, they're all my children. I love them equally. Uh, but for, for the purposes of uh, this lecture, I'm going to concentrate on uh, income tax and capital gains. Uh, and the principal points that came out of the budget were that the personal allowance for income tax is now going to be frozen. It won't change. It won't go up until 2026. And the capital gains tax allowance has halved going into this year, and then it will halve again in April of 2024. And as you can see there, there's Jerry looking looking very pleased with himself, uh, just holding up his um, his budget box for all the lovely tax revenue to just jump into as the next few years unfold. So let's start with income tax. And this is paid on any kind of earnings that you have, uh, and that includes pensions. Uh, at the moment, you have what's called a personal nil rate allowance, and that's the amount of money that you can earn where you pay no tax whatsoever. And that allowance is £12,750, and it's going to stay there till at least 2026. Um, thereafter, you pay 20% tax on the bit from £12,751 up to about £50,271. Uh, after that, you pay 40% tax until you hit uh, 125,141 of income. Lucky you if you do. Uh, and after that, you uh, you pay 45% tax on everything thereafter. And it's one of those sneaky little things that was in the budget as well. Uh, that top limit used to be at 150, but that, that's just been sneaked down a little bit to capture some extra tax revenue from those high earners. So what's the impact of these changes like to be and probably the best way to understand it is uh, by way of an example uh, and and here not in any way trying to conform to uh, socially stereotyped uh, gender roles or or images uh, we've got uh, Jane Doe and Jane is an accountant uh, and at the moment she earns the the princessly sum of forty five thousand pounds a year now based upon the uh, the tax bans and the allowances I just talked about that means she would pay. Six thousand four hundred and fifty pounds, uh, fifty pounds uh, every year in income tax. Now let's imagine that she's she's absolutely stonkingly brilliant at her job, and she gets a five percent pay rise every year for the next three years. Obviously not keeping up with the cost of living with inflation running at ten percent, but uh, let's not worry about that too much here because uh, it makes the maths more complicated. So let's flash forward. Three years after 5% pay rises for, for each one of those years. And Jane now earns 
the staggering sum of 52,093. And if you remember your tax bans earlier, that means that she is now a higher rate taxpayer because those tax bans aren't going to change till 2026 either. If you do the sums, what that means is that Jane is now paying considerably more income tax for her pay rises. She is now paying about 25% more income tax just by the, uh, the personal tax allowances staying the same, the income tax ban staying the same, but as her income incrementally goes up, she falls into the high rate tax pay and lots of people are going to follow suit. And we'll, as a result, lots of people will end up paying much more income tax over the next few years. So that's an example of how uh, the changes to income tax allowances are going to affect us. But what about capital gains tax? Well, this is a tax that's paid on investment gains, uh, on uh, the sale of let properties and the sale of businesses. Uh, and we all have now a personal nil rate allowance. We can make £6,000 of gains a year and not pay any tax on those. This then falls to £3,000 from April 2020. If you're a basic rate taxpayer, as Jane Doe was when she when she started uh, uh, her career as an accountant, certainly for the example I just gave you, um, you will pay 10% tax uh, on capital gains or 18% if it's a let property that you're selling. Um, if you're a higher rate taxpayer, so if you're earning over that 50 odd thousand pound threshold, uh, you pay 20% on capital gains over the personal nil rate allowance, or if it's a let property you're selling, you pay 28%. If you're wondering why those levels are slightly different, it's government is trying to dissuade people from having second homes. And one of the ways they do it is by taxing them more heavily. And so now here we have another example, which is to illustrate the, the effect of changes to uh, capital gains tax allowances. And we're going to illustrate this with Jeff Doe, uh, who has, he actually has total clothing rights and he could have a, a skirt on if he wants to, I don't really care. Uh, and as you can see, he's got exactly the same hairstyle as Jane, um, because we were not prejudiced or chauvinistic in any way, shape or form here at Seven. Um, now, in this example, Jeff invested £100,000 in 2015. And through diligent stewardship of his investments, that grew to £150,000 by 2022 uh, over the course of seven years, uh, which is not unreasonable. Um, now, what that means is that he has made a gain at this point. He hasn't crystallised it, but the investment has gained. £50,000 uh, by 2022. Now, in this example, let's imagine that in 2022, uh, Jeff decides that for whatever reason, he's going to buy a speedboat, perhaps, um, that he's going to sell that entire investment. And at this point, uh, his career is, is parallel in Jane. And what should it do? Because they, they're both equal. Um, and he's a basic rate taxpayer. That means uh, in 2022, he would have had a capital gains tax allowance of 12300 because that's what it was then. Uh, take that off the £50,000 of gain. There's £43,700 of taxable gain there. And because he's a basic rate taxpayer, he pays 10% capital gains. Uh, so that's £4,370 he has to pay. However, in, in another example, uh, Jeff decides he's actually he's not going to buy that speed, but after all, he leaves the money invested. Uh, and he leaves the money invested until 2024 when the, the, the burning desire to own that, uh, that speedboat it just it overwhelms him. And he goes ahead and he cashes in his investment. Now, for whatever reason, uh, that investment hasn't grown in value between 2022 and 2024. Not because of anything to do with the investment. But maybe he left it in cash. I don't know. Um, uh, but at this point, uh, there's still the £50,000 gain, which works for the example as well. So thanks for that, Jeff. Uh, but his capital gains tax allowance is now only £3,000, which is what it's going to be from April next year. That means there's £47,000 of taxable gain in there now. And also, because Jeff has moved along the same career path as Jane in the previous example, he's now a higher rate taxpayer. So he pays 20% CGT. So what that now means is his capital gains tax liability on this disposal has now jumped from 4,370 to 9,400 pounds that he has to pay in tax, more than double as a result of the, uh, the diminution of the uh, capital gains tax liability. And also the fact that it's easier for Jeff to become a higher rate taxpayer as he gets his uh, pay increases over the intervening years. Now, as you can see from the examples we've given, uh, the impact of the, the changes to personal tax allowances that have been brought in by uh, Chancellor Hunt uh, 
will be felt uh, over a number of years. They will be subtle and they will be incremental. But the l amount of tax that you will end up paying as a result of those progressive changes um, will actually be very, very significant and will raise a huge amount of tax revenue uh, for the Treasury. But it will also mean that the tax burden that we will face will be increasing very, very significantly over the next four or five years. So hardly exhaustive, but definitely illustrative. There's a whistle stop to it through, through the, the, some of the impacts of the tax allowance changes that have come through in the budget and how they can affect you. But what have we learned? Um, well, the first thing is the, the Chancellor's made some pretty big changes to our tax allowances, but whose effects will be felt over the next few years, not instantly. It would be progressive, but it will mean that more of us will pay higher rates of income tax. Uh, and that's going to also reflect in the uh, rates and amounts of capital gains tax that we're likely to pay on our investments. Uh, the upshot is that we will all be paying much more tax in the next few years. And when the Chancellor said there are some eye-watering changes coming through, he wasn't kidding, despite the smile. Um, what this means really in terms of running our money, first is that investment alpha, that's as adding additional returns through, through careful stewardship, will be more important because your investments are going to have to work harder to keep up with the amount of tax that they're going to have to pay. Um, equally, adding tax alpha, so that's making sure that we invest in such a way using uh, tax vehicles, wrappers and strategies that mitigate tax. Uh, so you can keep more of the gains that you actually make. That's going to become absolutely essential in our financial plan. Now, I'll be back in the not too distant future to talk about exactly what I mean by tax alpha and to give you some examples of how we might employ these strategies. But in the meantime, it's time. For, and I know you've been waiting for it. It's time for the inevitable disclaimers. Uh, and once again, we've got two disclaimers for you here, uh, both personal favorites. Uh, the first one is that the value of investments can go down as well as up. And I know you know that, but I'm, I'm forced to say that to you is a past performance is no guarantee of the future. The only thing that seems to be happening in the future is we will be paying more tax. And no lecture brief would be complete without me uh, fitting off with the final disclaimer, which is to remind you that this video is intended to inform, to educate and entertain and most certainly does not represent advice. Um, and if we have succeeded in at least two out of three of those objectives, uh, then I'm entirely satisfied. And on that note, we will see you next time.